Meersha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sums based on higher purchase system under the chapter financial services and its mechanism under the subject innovative financial service. Okay, in this video, we are going to solve one sum which will you know clarify all your doubt based on what accounts to create and what are the things that you need to keep uh, you need to remember in order to create those account and also how to solve and create the working note based on interest okay so again a very important topic for all the ty bms m6 student we are going to start with the first sum okay now let us see how to solve the sum based on higher purchase okay the question is given we'll read the question once it's given that on first april 2000 and uh, 15 Lakshman Limited purchased a machinery for uh, from SSC Limited on higher purchase basis. The cash price of the machine was 5 lakhs. The payment was to be made in uh, made rupees 1 lakh on the due uh, on the date of agreement and the balance in 4 installment of 1 lakh plus interest at 8% per annum payable on 31st December each year. So it is payable on 31st December each year. The first installment being paid on 31st December 2015. Prepare machinery account and SSC limited in the books of Lakshman. Assuming that the accounts are closed on 31st December every year and depreciation is 10% on original cost method. Okay, so that's the question. Now, so very first thing, okay, remember the very first thing before starting the actual sum, always the very first working note that you will have to you'll have to make is number one. calculation of interest okay we'll have particulars see that everyone you know note down this format this format will remain same for all so you'll have opening cash price down payment or installment amount interest cash price paid and closing cash price which is nothing but opening less cash price paid okay, so that's the first and the last okay so this will be the fixed format uh, you can if you want you can number it is one two three four and five five step of working note will be there okay now let us see how you're going to use this particular uh, stuff okay now it's given here that the cash price of the machine is five lakh meaning the machine is costing five lakh so this is my down payment column always this will be my down payment column the very first column the machine cost is 5 lakhs that's my opening cash price the amount is 5 lakhs the cash price of the machine is 5 lakh the payment was made was to be made would be 1 lakh on the date of agreement so on the same date 1 lakh was my down payment amount okay and the balance in 4 equal installment of 1 lakh plus interest at 8% on 31st December every year and you're going to start from 31st December 2015 31st 12 2015 31st 12 2016 31st 12 2017 and 31st 12 2018 installments are going to be of 1 lakh each okay Chica. so now installment you're going to pay of 1 lakh each so now let us see how we go about with this okay the interest rate given in the question is um if you look carefully the interest rate given is uh eight percent so note down this is eight percent okay that's it now let us see how we solve in the first the, the moment we bought the machine the cost of the machine was five lakh we paid down payment or or the first installment amount as one lakh okay in the very on the day when you buy there will never be interest paid on the same date okay so what was the cash price which we have paid in the first year we paid only one lakh that was the down payment amount so what will my closing cash price of the first the starting date okay five lakh may say one lakh we have already paid so my closing balance will be 
4 lakhs whatever is closing of the first part will become the opening of the next so 4 lakhs is my opening cash price now we come to the end of that particular year okay again the installment that i'm going to pay is going to be 1 lakh they said installments are going to be paid in four equal installment of 1 lakh each so i'm just noting this 1 lakh in all the four parts remember the installment that you're going to pay will always come in cash paid okay this installment amount will include your interest also okay so that you have to remember okay now we need to first calculate the interest now the opening balance was 4 lakhs remember interest is always on opening balance okay 8 lakhs uh, i mean 4 lakh is the value of that we have to take 8 percent so the interest comes to 32000 so now in the on 31st december 2015 you're not only paying 1 lakh installment plus 32000 of interest so total amount that you're going to pay as per installment will be 1 lakh 32000 this is very important okay now to find the closing we have opening minus the installment cash price paid so 4 minus 1 3 lakh is still amount pending last year you know previous year ka closing will become current year ka opening so 3 lakhs comes here again on 3 lakhs we will charge 8 percent interest which is 24,000 so this installment value will be 1 lakh plus 24,000 so it will become 1 lakh 24,000 3 lakh minus 1 lakh will give you balance of 2 lakhs so 2 becomes opening again on 2 lakhs we will take 8% interest which comes to 16,000 1 lakh plus 16 is 1 lakh 16,000 2 minus 1 is 1 lakh so 1 becomes opening on 1 lakh 8% is 8,000 so I'm going to pay a total 1 lakh 8,000 1 minus 1 is 0 at the end it has to become 0 because we have, we have basically have paid up the entire value okay so this is the very first thing that you all need to do is make you know do the working of calculation of interest once this is done now it is very simple to do the remaining posting okay Chalo. so let us see how to go ahead with the sum they said in the books of lakshman we have to prepare so i'll write here in the books of lakshman they ask you to first prepare number one machine account so we'll have date particulars amount again we'll have date particulars amount okay now very simple okay now, now listen to this it is just repetition it's just repetition for the number of years we have four part four years okay so the entries are basically just going to be repeated again and again okay just listen to this very carefully Lakshman he purchased the machinery for what amount you all have to look at the first price for 5 lakhs and from whom did he purchase from SS limited so and when did he purchase given us 1st April so 1st April 2015 on 1st April 2015 he purchased from SSC limited so SSC limited I'll add here always just keep that order okay first always will come from whom you're going to purchase the value of the uh, machine was 5 lakhs that's it now every year in the asset account every year in the asset account we just have to know two things one is the depreciation second is the balance depreciation balance depreciation balance that's it okay so on 31st December 2015 we note we have to note down by depreciation now what will be the value of depreciation look here this is 5 lakhs it's taken in April year ending is December so it's only nine months which have been used so and it is on straight line method at 10 percent so 5 lakh into 10 percent into 9 divided by 12 so the value comes to 37,000 500 okay now same day 31st December 2015 by balance carry it down that's it we tally this so this will become 5 lakhs total on both the sides 
when you subtract you get the value of 462500 last year ka closing will become this year's openings on 1st april sorry 1st jan 2016 to balance brought down 462500 again same way 31st december 2016 by depreciation that's it you just have to copy you just have to you know note down the three entries every in each and every year so it's that simple okay now this is for the full year so 5 lakh into 10% will give you 50000 the first year ke liye it was only for 9 months otherwise it's all 10 uh, the complete year so full year ka debt 50000 okay same date 31st december 2016 by balance carried down i close this account Four lakh sixty-two thousand five hundred on either side. From that, I minus fifty thousand. I'll get four lakh twelve thousand five hundred. Last year's balance will become this year's opening. So first Jan two thousand seventeen to balance brought down four lakh twelve thousand five hundred again on thirty-first December two thousand and seventeen by depreciation. Now full year, so full year का depreciation is again going to be fifty thousand straight line method. Again thirty first December two thousand seventeen by balance. I again tally this part, so this become four lakh twelve thousand five hundred on either side. From that I minus fifty thousand, we get the value as three lakh sixty two thousand five hundred. Last year two thousand eighteen, so again it comes down one one two thousand eighteen to balance brought down. That is. Three lakh sixty-two thousand five hundred on thirty-first March two thousand eighteen by depreciation. Again, we are going to charge full year fifty k on thirty-first December two thousand and eighteen by balance. I'll tally this again one last time. Three lakh sixty-two thousand five hundred. Three lakh sixty-two thousand five hundred. When you subtract, you will get your final balance as. Three lakh twelve thousand five hundred. Okay, so this is how you'll have to solve your machinery account. Very simple. Just same thing. You're just copy pasting the same accounts every year. Okay, so that was the number one. Second, now we have to make uh, you know the vendor, the sellers, the higher purchase vendor account. So that is SSC Limited. It's also called as the higher purchase. Vendor, seller, vendor account. Okay, again we'll have date, particulars, rupees, date, particular rupees. Again, it is copy paste. You just have to understand the first year, and then it's always going to be copy. Okay, just remember in the first year. Acha, now look here. In machine, it was two SSC. So in SSC, it will become. On first April two thousand and fifteen, it will become by machine. That is five lakhs. Now you just have to remember two things: installment, interest, and down payment. Okay, down payment and installment. I'll take it as one DP and installment. I'll take it as one term. And for the others, it is only interest. So only two things you have to understand and re remember. Okay, in order to uh, prepare the vendor's account. First of all, when you purchase machinery, you paid an instalment, a, a down payment of one lakh on the same day. So first April two thousand fifteen, I'll write here to bank. This entry is only going to be in the very first year, okay? Because down payment was only done at the start of the buying stuff. Rest is only going to be instalment of four years. In the same year, at the end of the year, you. 31st December 2015 we paid the first installment so i'll write here to bank account we made the first installment of 1 lakh 32000 and on the same date we even paid interest of 32000 this is it you just have to remember installment interest installment interest installment interest so that will keep you know repeating again and again so we will Tally this account. So five lakh thirty-two thousand. Always uh, your credit will be greater. Minus one two lakh thirty-two thousand will give you three lakh as our balance. So this will be 
31st December 2015. See, if you look here, balance is 3 lakhs, so we got the 3 lakhs. So, 2 balance carried down 3 lakh. Carried down, so we'll bring it down on 1st April 2016 by balance brought down 3 lakhs. Now, very simple. On 31st December 2016, we made the second installment to two bank account. We made 1,24,000 ka amount. And on 31st December 16, we also made an interest of 24,000. That's it. We tally this account. So, this is 3,24,000. From 3,24,000 we minus 1,24,000 we get 2 lakh as our balance which is matching with the closing balance 31st December 2016 to balance carried down carried down so on the next date 1st Jan uh, this is 1st Jan okay okay 1st Jan 2017 by balance brought down it is 2 lakhs again the same stuff you just have to repeat the same stuff on 31st December 17, we made the second installment of, I mean first, second, third installment of 1,16,000. Same date pay, we also paid the interest of 16,000. We tally the account and we will be getting on the same date balance. So it is 2,16,000. From 2,16,000 we paid 1,16 so 1 lakh is remaining. So that's the last balance. So it's balance so we bring that balance down. So I'll write here 1st Jan 2018 by balance brought down 1,16,000. Sorry it's 1 lakh. On 31st December 18 we made the last installment of one like eight thousand and we also paid on the last date interest of eight thousand so now if you look carefully okay your last account should always tally because we have completely made the entire payment okay so this is how you have to solve the sum based on higher purchase again a very simple topic you just have to understand the first year card data and then after just copy paste copy paste with those values from the okay uh, from the table for the vendor part and here only depreciation for the machinery or the asset part okay chalo i hope everyone have understood that with that we will be ending this video here thank you